All right, I'm going to show you how the ESV covers up for the pagan Roman Catholic rosaries in Matthew chapter 6, verse 7. First of all, why do I say that? Well, because in, in the KJV, Matthew chapter 6, verse 7 condemns vain repetitions as a heathen practice. The Catholic rosary counts as a vain repetition, a heathen vain repetition in prayer because they just chant the same thing over and over and over again like a bunch of robots. They'll, just, they'll, they'll say either a Hail Mary or an Our Father in a ritual. Okay, here's Matthew chapter 6, verse 7 in the KJV. It says, but when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard in their much speaking. So, vain repetitions. What are some examples of vain repetitions in the Word of God uh, done by heathens? Well, Acts chapter 19, verse 34. But when they knew that he was a Jew, with all with one voice, about the space of two hours cried out, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. Okay, what were these Greek or Roman pagans doing? They were there for two hours nonstop, were just chanting and crying out, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. See, that, that right there is a vain repetition. Another example of a vain repetition is in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 26, with the priests of Baal. It says, And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. Uh, but there was no voice, nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. So they, for basically for essentially the whole morning, from the beginning of the morning till noon, they were calling upon the name of Baal. There's another example of a vain repetition, just chanting and calling upon the same thing over and over and over again. You'll see that with the Roman Catholic Rosary. Just go watch, go on, in, on the internet and look up any video of a rosary. It's the same thing. Now, I notice how the ESV covers this up and changes uh, vain repetitions to empty phrases. Check this out. Matthew chapter 6, verse 7 in the ESV. But And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Empty phrases. See, a Catholic could easily read that and say, well, you see, with the... Uh, Rosary, we're not doing empty phrases. We're just saying, you know, our and the Our Father prayer is scriptural. Okay, the Our Father is found in Matthew chapter six, a couple of verses down in, I believe it's verse uh, verses nine down to verse uh, thirteen. I believe it is. Yeah, Matthew chapter six, verse nine to thirteen, is the Our Father prayer. So it is a scriptural prayer. But the Hail Marys are not scriptural whatsoever. And even if you're doing the Our Father, you don't chant. You just don't chant it over and over and over again, as a ritual. That's a vain repetition. But the In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Cosmic Virgin, Amen. A flame is active, a flame is vital, a flame is eternal. I am the God, flame of radiant love from the very heart of God and the great central sun, descending from the master of life. But the ESV, it gives them grounds for that by saying, oh, just empty phrases. You see how, and this is not the only Roman Catholic heresy that ESV covers up for, but you can easily see how a Catholic could read that and say, well, you see, we're not, it doesn't go against our rosaries. You know, our rosaries are not empty phrases because they're not I mean, when you get down to it, but they are vain repetitions. That simple. So don't be deceived. Uh, it's just more Jesuit Catholic doctrine taught by the ESV, which I call the extremely satanic version. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.